Hola, scientists. It's so wonderful to see all of you. How was your weekend? Ooh, buenísimo. It sounds like a lot of you got some good rest. I hope you are also able to think about germs. Did any of you remember to think of questions or ask some family scientists about them? Awesome, a lot of you did. That'll make things even more interesting. Interestingly enough, I have a question too. Well, I actually got the question from one of my students. I noticed a couple of times before that some of them were not wearing their masks correctly when they had to wear them. So I took some time to show them how to wear them. I reminded them that your mask needs to cover your nose, mouth, and chin. Then one of my students asked, why do we have to cover our chins? So I told them, well, can I show you while I explain? Okay, great. It could be a little hard to explain. So we know from what scientists have told us that the virus, the COVID-19 coronavirus, is passed through water droplets. They've also told us that viruses are a type of germ. We inhale and exhale water droplets when we breathe. If I were to wear my mask without securing it to my chin, any time that would open my mouth or yawn, the parts of my face that should be covered would be exposed. See? Or if I don't put it over my nose like this, I would be exposed to the virus if somebody nearby had it and if I stayed around them for a while, of course. But it got me thinking. I can't really observe germs with my sense of sight, not even with my glasses. Because of that, I decided to do some research, scientists. Would you like to see what I learned? Buenísimo. Let's check out what information I gathered. Scientists, gathering information by doing research was so fun. I really felt like a scientist. Oh, some of you haven't heard of that word before? Research means to study materials and sources so you can learn facts. And wow, did I learn a lot of facts that were new to me. I learned that there are different kinds of germs, and cooties are not one of them. I learned that germs can be bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. All of these types of germs can be found all over, and some get around faster than others. Each kind looks different and also functions differently. I drew some pictures of different types of germs to see what you can look, so you can see what they look like. Hmm, you might be wondering how we know this, especially since I mentioned earlier that we can't see germs using our sense of sight. Scientists use a tool called a microscope to help them see really small things, like germs. They sketch what they see using A, B, C, D, E, and sometimes they take pictures using the microscope so that they can have really accurate pictures for their scientific notebooks. We'll actually learn more about this microscope tomorrow. As I was continuing with my research, I learned that germs can be passed from person to person in so many different ways. Some of them are passed by coughing, sneezing, and even breathing. Ah, so that's why we have to wear the masks, okay? I also read that some germs can be passed through your saliva, sweat, or blood. Wow, I guess that's how small germs are. They can hold on to a lot of things. They can also stay on surfaces for a while too, but they need to, need to be able to get nutrients from a human or plant. That's so interesting. I need to know more about germs. You know what, scientists? I would really enjoy learning more about germs with you. Would you be interested in doing research and collecting evidence with me, just like scientists do? We could record our observations in our science notebooks. Oh, what does evidence mean? Evidence is facts or information that shows whether or not something is true. I'll have to look up what experiments we can do because I don't think we can all use a microscope to observe germs on our own. But will you all do that with me? Oh, estoy muy emocionada. I'm very excited. Well, let's take out our notebooks that we made and start a new entry. I'm going to make mine on a poster so it'll be easier for you to follow along. I'll give us a moment to get our notebooks and something to write with. Estoy lista. I hope you all are too. I'm going to start my page with the date on the top and a number at the bottom and the title, germs, viruses. 
I'm going to write this information on my poster paper, so please follow along by writing in your notebook. Make sure to also put all of this into your table of contents later. Today's January 25th, 2021. My page number will be page five. And the title is Germs, Viruses. Got the date, page number, and the title. Muy bien. The question that I want to use to guide us was the one from my student. I'm going to change it a little bit and sketch a face with a mask worn correctly. I'm going to write the question, why do we have to wear our masks like that? Let me use a different color, though. Why do we have to what? Air our mm, masks like that. And this is a question mark, so or question, so we end with a question mark. And then like that. refers to the face. There we go. So why do we have to wear masks like that? All right. So, awesome. Later, I'm going to write what I shared with all of you. And, but I want you to do something a little different. I want all of you to do your own research. I want you to talk with some scientists that you live with, I mean your family members, about germs. I also want you to ask them our question and write down what they say. If you know how to do online research or want to do a search with an adult, you can use google.com to start your search. What questions do you think you will ask the scientists in your home? Ooh, those questions sound like they will start interesting conversations. How exciting. Well, scientists, our time together is up for today. I'm looking forward to seeing what answers you get from the scientists in your home. If you would like to share your notebook entry with me, please do so by using the submission link. Can't wait to see all of you mañana.